Good morning, Sunrisers. I'm Dr. Emerson, and this is Mary Parker, my technician, and this cute little girl and her cute little bandana is Abby. And Abby presented this past Friday not feeling very well. Her owners came in. They were very distressed, and Abby was distressed. Abby was actually having issues breathing. She was panting excessively. She was basically a little bit looked like she was overheated, but she was so upset because she was having trouble breathing. So we put Abby in our oxygen chamber. We started giving her oxygen, and then I went and started talking to her mom, and we talked about Abby's history. Um, and Abby did have some history of once in a while having these episodes where she would cough. And this, there's something very common that Yorkies can have. It's called collapsing trachea, where the trachea rings sometimes aren't as strong as they should be. And if they get excited or start doing things like a lot of activity, sometimes they'll start having these coughing bouts. So we were very concerned about that. So what we did immediately, went in and we got x-rays because I wanted to look at Abby's trachea and I wanted to look at her heart. Well, what we found on x-ray is that Abby had a lot of mucus looking buildup in her trachea and in her lung fields. So we were basically dealing with an uh, upper respiratory infection. Basically what we call it is an inflamed trachea and her lungs were beginning to get infected. So I was so glad the owners went ahead and saw right away that their dog was sick and went ahead and brought them in. Because if they wouldn't have, Abby could have gotten in more respiratory distress and it could have killed her. So she did the, we actually, after we got her in the oxygen chamber, we got the x-rays, then we gave Abby a breathing treatment. And a breathing treatment is just like what you and I take. If we have to do breathing treatments at home because we have a cold, we actually put her in a chamber where she, she was breathing in an antibiotic and an albuterol inhalant to help open up that trachea and open up those basically branches that go into the lungs so she could breathe better. After that nebulization treatment, she was doing so good. We put her on an antibiotic and a really low dose steroid to help with the inflammation. I rechecked Abby yesterday. She's doing fabulous and today she's even doing better. So if you have a dog at home that's having little coughing episodes or they're doing excessive panting or they're just not doing right, make sure to call and make that appointment or come on in because it could be life-threatening. I hope you have a great week and I know Abby thanks her parents every day. WCBI Animal Health with Dr. Emerson was brought to you by Emerson Animal Hospital in West Point.